There's something about Italy that just gives me better youth prospects. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in the water, but it's happened again. There's a left back viewers that I can't quite, quite, quite believe. I can't even speak. I've gone Scottish. I don't know what's happened. Run the intro. I need to change this immediately. Folks, welcome back to another episode of the 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 Glory Hunter Save with me, Doctor Benji of Fame. It's getting, it got worse. It got bad. It got really bad. To be fair, we've got a few episodes in today, so I'm not done my accent yet. So that was coming in many ways, wasn't it? Now then, now then, we play Verona and Atalanta in the Italian Cup semi-final second leg. That's the big game of today's episode. But you'll notice first things to notice: uh, we are playing Porto. Oh boys and girls, Porto in the last eight of the Champions League. It's fair to say we dodged six bullets, and this revolver had a seventh, and that is going to be Porto. Now look, we can't take them too lightly. They're still a decent. Oh come on, we've got. Porto viewers, come on, we're loving it. Tottenham, Zebra, Barca, City, Chelsea, Liverpool, all avoided, and Porto are opposition. Lovely. They've got a youngster called Ruben Benjamin, who I think, I think if I was from Portugal, that would be my name. I don't know how or why, but it would be. But I've told you, I've, I've teased you with it, viewers. We've had our, our intake. Uh, it said it was a golden generation. They were, they were kind of wrong, actually. There's a couple here, viewers, that are very good. So these are the youth candidates that didn't make it. Sorry to, to Mimo, Marco, Juan, Ben down the bottom there, Samuel, amongst others. They've not got in, but the 18s that have have already been signed. And let's run you through a few of them. Let's do a slow build. We'll start with the goalkeeper we've got. Uh, Oswaldo Panico. Is there a better goalkeeper name in world football? Panico goes where I go. I've, I mean, when you think about the saves I've had over the years and the relationships I've had with goalkeepers, to have someone called Oswaldo Panico is everything I could have ever wanted. So well, Welcome, Osvaldo. We will make sure you're as good as you can be. Next up is Fausto Arici, uh, who I didn't think was going to be particularly good. The potential rating there, according to my coaches, is two and a half, but like definite uh, potential and a little bit of black tile potential there. So he could be even better. Could be a three and a half star player uh, in theory. Advanced forward. Doesn't look too bad for 17. He's, he needs to improve a little bit quite quickly, but um, yeah, not bad at all. I, I like the look of him. But oh, here we go. Left back viewers. This is where things get hot. I will say, if you follow me on Twitter... You've already seen him, but this is Christian Anzagi. Anzagi looks to be one of the best fullbacks you can have. Like, look, there's a few things missing. Crossing, dribbling, they'll come. He's only 17. He's already got 13 marking, already got 13 tackling. Fantastic teamwork, great determination, superb bravery. There's a few things there on the mentals that I would like to improve. But again, he's just come through the system. Very, very quick. Balance is fantastic as well. And again, a few more things like stamina I would like to improve. But that will come with time. I just think he could be fantastic. He might have forced me to play four at the back or we train him to be a wing back, but those attacking stats, they're not too good. Attributes, the attacking attributes, people get very, very, very protective over that. So we will see Anzagi at some point, I'm sure, and I will try and take him everywhere with me if I can. He is the man that I, I like the look of a lot. Is he a fan of Inter? Because that might be difficult to get him away. He's not a fan of Inter. He has no care for us or me, as, as things stand. This is perfect. Right then, it's game time. Let's waste no more time. Verona coming up the away side, uh, or we're the away side, I should say. Uh, we're currently at fourth in the league table. We've not played a league game for a little while. That top three seems to be breaking away a little bit, and Zebra at the top of it at the moment seems to be the team to beat. They're still continually the team to beat, although Lazio, not that far behind. We've got to keep off the challenges, though, of Roma and Napoli. They've fallen off, really, so it's really a battle now for fourth between ourselves and Roma. Who's going to come out on top? Winning against Verona is an absolute must. All right, then. Handanovic will be in goal for this one. Godin comes back into the side alongside the fridge and Skorinia. Uh, Lozano will play one side. We've got Asimo with the other. Milinkovic, Savic and Barella in the centre of midfield. Foden will be behind Martinez and Lukaku. And there's just so much lovely friendship everywhere. That's what I love about it. Partnerships between that front three are starting to develop in that front, in that middle two as well. It's just, oh, it's just like that. And the back at the back. You can't get enough of this. You never see goalkeepers making friends. That makes me sad, do you? You never see it. Just sat over there. Are you all right, Handanovic? Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'm just looking at the three over there. They're always hanging out. They never let me hang out. Go and talk to them. They might let you. Just go and have a chat with them. No, no, he said I'm too old. They said, Kadeen's 34. He's like, too old. He needs, he needs to watch himself. <laughs> don't cry. Handanovic, don't cry. Don't, oh God, what's happened now? Would you like me to have a word with Gadine and the fridge and see if you can hang out with them? Yes, please. That'd be really nice, actually. Thank you. I'll see what I can do. God, dearie me. Handanovic there. He's an emotional wreck, viewers. <laughs> 
I don't know either. Let's move on. Uh, Brozovic is suspended, suspended, suspended for this particular one at a bench of Danny Graham and Gabriel Barbosa. We we stand a chance in every game, frankly, viewers. And the nice thing is that after this episode, the two Champions League games have been teamed up next to each other as a as a as a they're creating their own friendship in many ways. So we can have one episode where we play both of those games back to back, which is perfect. Oh, look at this from Verona. They've gone very very Italian. It's very defensive, it's very negative, and the wide areas are places where I think we might have a bit of joy. Plus, we don't really have to defend them, which is good. I certainly say you should be winning this without any trouble. They don't care. I'll be, start being passionate. Start throwing flour everywhere. Because that's when, when people describe Italian passion, it's usually someone making pizza and just flour everywhere. As Barella, ball in. It's dangerous. It's cleared away, though, as uh, Phil Foden gets back on the ball. Skrinia on that side. If he can find a teammate, he finds Gadeen. Friendship, told you. Barella on this right side now. Can he get a ball into the middle? He goes towards the byline, referees take on his man, and then it's been driven into the side netting at such speed, viewers, that we almost didn't see it, although we always get to, don't we? We always get to see it, we're always allowed to see it, we see it every time, is why. It's fine, it's not a problem, it doesn't bother me, I, I like it, if anything. Lukaku, left side, finds SMS, as Asamoah's ball in, he's dangerous, but not quite good enough, as Barella strikes from 20 plus yards, what a goal from Nicolo Barella, sensational. We don't talk about him all too much, he's one of those sort of squad players that you include every now and again at a capacity Verona crowd <sighs> never mind as it's headed clear though Lazaro just lays it off to him and look at that first time bangs it into that top corner what a strike it's a goal of the season contender viewers remember the name Nicolo Barella you won't you probably won't play him next season so just leave it I say that he is joining so maybe we will do as uh, SMS puts a ball in. The fridge is there. Can't quite divert it on target. We could have a late run here. There's not too many games left of the league season, but win this. You know, there, there could be a late run at the... Shut up, Ben. Stop this. A double's enough. Champions League, Italian Cup. That's all we're here for. Oh, to get. Imagine if I could knock off two. I, I, I worry that we will knock off none. But there's a potential for us to knock off two on the glory hunting list very, very early on. As uh, Lukaku on that side finds Asamoah as he pulls it back to Godin. We've got SMS back to Asamoah and it's so far looking pretty good. As Asamoah beats his man, can he find a ball into the centre? Finds Phil Foden, who's, who needs to become more involved. Barella, not again, surely. Oh, he goes for it, though. The man is playing with confidence, viewers. As that at half time, uh, we lead 1-0. It's like Verona aren't even here, really. They're not trying. My Verona! Hope you like that. That was just a little bit of a musical interlude before we get to the end of the game. It's a corner to them, though, actually. And, well, Bocchetti, two players that I've actually heard. I think that's Miguel Veloso and uh, Bocchetti at the back. Two players, I say, I, I'm aware of their existence, uh, combine and nearly score a goal. 15 minutes left to go. We're going to make a couple of changes just to freshen it up, really. SMS is going to come off. Sensi is going to come on. I'm seeing people in the comments root for him. They want him involved. And uh, Barbosa is going to come on for Martinez up top. Of course, we could bring Danny Graham on, but you don't just you don't just unleash Danny Graham's powers at any point. I'm I'm realizing this now. I'm starting to learn that you've got to be very particular with when you utilize Daniel Graham. As I'm going to say, though, at one nil, the, the lead is somewhat precarious as they've started to attack a little bit more. It falls to the edge of the box, but Lukaku, the work rate of Romelu now, he's actually getting involved. Passing needs to be work on, though. Hey, Romelu, if you win this back, though, there's a chance. Oh, they've given it away. Barbosa, it's a chance. It's a one on one. It's what you want your strikers to be finishing. And well, he's made an attempt of sorts. It's an attempt of sorts. Sensi. To put in the corner though, and uh, we've got some big old boys in there when you think about it. Our centre backs, Lukaku is pretty big as well. Like you'd expect us to be more threatening from those situations. Rarely does it happen as there's another chance for us. I'm, I'm feeling a full back goal. Lazaro finish, maybe. Just got a feeling, viewers. Foden to Asamoa. He might go for it himself, you know, and, and he loves it too. That the wing backs in this team, I absolutely adore them. Phil Foden is he's hurried back towards his own goal a little bit. They're working it quite nicely. They go forward, and we've got to defend this. The fridge does well. And 1-0 is a bit of a scary scoreline as we come out from the back and give it away immediately and oh no I don't feel confident with yours I don't know what it is I just don't I don't feel confident we've won it back but it's not enough we need to actually score a goal Gabriel Barbosa again finds some space couldn't do it the first time and he can't do it the second well history is repeating itself deja vu anyone deja vu deja vu anyone deja vu <laughs> good good Ben very good as uh <sighs> I was messing about, wasn't I? I was doing deja vu jokes, and now look. Lukaku off, Graham on. Danny, come on, mate. They've scored. Verona have scored. Well, it's 1-1. We've probably taken our foot off the gas, and they've they've overtaken us. Well, they've not overtaken us. They've, they've come level, and now with three minutes left to go, we're going to go very attacking and panic. Extremely direct passing. Let's find a way through, shall we? As time ticks away, well, what a waste of time. We may as well have not played. We might as well have both said, let's just agree to a draw and be done with it. They've scored in the last minute. Who is this guy? Scored a lot, has he, this season? Got a lot of goals? Oh, just the two. Lovely. 
He's a defensive midfielder, Ben. Back off him. Aggressive, obviously, not good enough. I feel like this is just. I feel like I've been hit. I, I've not. I'm not. I've not processed it, viewers. That's what's happened. I've not processed it. We're still fourth, but I mean weak and I would describe it as not ideal preparation as we go into this second leg against Atalanta we lead overall and away goals do count um but I wish that hadn't have happened how are they getting on they're playing spell this could be this could be big for us let's just see if they if they can falter here I will regain some confidence so we'll just see what their results going to be as it flies through they've won okay well mm, thanks spell thanks a lot Genoa beating Roma would keep them away from us actually so that's I mean, more results that we actually care about, unbelievably, on this uh, this Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020. Let's just see here then. What have they done as we go to these score lines? Well, Roma have drawn. So they stay, they stay a little way from us. Still a three-point gap. We can just, we can relax. And we didn't lose, viewers. There's that, isn't there? We didn't lose. We've only lost four games this season. Considering how much abuse I get in the comment section, that is a surprising statistic. No, 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 no. This can't be real life, viewers. This is not real life. Hang on, they... Whoa, 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 whoa. What on... What the... Viewers! Hang on a second. They... they. Oh, my... I, I actually can't believe what I'm looking at here. They better have players away on... Inter okay. They also have really... Like, they're their best players in theory, right? Away on international duty. What, who scheduled this? I actually can't... But I actually... I don't know. I don't... I what? I can't... What? I mean, it's pretty outrageous that every single member of my, like, outfield 11 is... Is... What? Right, so what's the situation? I, I don't know what to do. What's the situation with the tw with the 20s right now? Have we got fit and available 20s? I mean, we, we, yeah, kind of. I mean, one of them is injured, so that's good. One we'd actually use is injured. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Hang on, what am I supposed to do here? I think, oh, oh viewers, holy smokes. Danny Graham has just become a leader of the dressing room. Right, let me have a play around and figure out what on earth we're doing here. This is a disaster on every level. All of my... I actually can't... I actually don't know. Even the... Oh, my word. Even the, the new youngster can't... Oh, whatever. Why can't he play? He played already today. Fair enough. He's got f full conditioning, though. Right, gang. We've had a, we've had a play around because... Oh, this is so un, unideal. It's unreal. It's, it's time for his return. Politano is back in the lineup after featuring so little for me this season. He, he starts up front with Danny Graham. I mean, I'm going to have to introduce all of the players here. Behind them, Luka Simic. I don't know either viewers really. There's not there's not a better option. So there's not a better option. In the center, this is where things start to recover. Sensi and uh, Gagladini, they can play in the middle. That's not too bad. On the left-hand side, Baragi, again, fine. On the right-hand side, Vazeni. Uh, look at this. It's not I mean no disrespect Nicolo, no disrespect mate, but come on. And at the back, Bastoni, Ronoscia and who, like, do we know? No one knows, do they? I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't look absolutely terrible, but it doesn't look good. Handanovic will be in goal. So there's a little bit of happiness. In terms of the bench, we've, we've gone with what we think is best. We've gone with what we think is best. We don't know. We don't have any choice. I actually can't believe this is happening. I, I genuinely cannot. But I've got to give so many numbers out. An auto number has never been more useful. Right. So we're playing. Oh, this. Oh, no. All right, viewers, it's the morning. Um, just editor Ben, I don't do weekends, so I'm just in early on Monday. Um, he's, his camera's gone off. He's got no idea. I, I don't think... It, let's find out if he figures it out. Um, hopefully, at some point, he does. At this point, we go we go for... I can see here he doesn't... Know, he doesn't figure it out for ages. I can't... I, um, okay, no, it's fine. It'll be fine. Three of them haven't got faces. They've got Alejandro Gomez playing. They've got Muriel playing. They're quite dangerous. I mean, like, we've got some dangerous players. We've got Danny Graham and Politano up front. We're, we're going to be fine. It's... Oh, we're not... This is horrible. All the best out there today. Have fun. What else can I say? I'm going to give them the calm approach. I've got faith in you. Go out there. Make the difference. You know, enjoy yourselves. It might be the last time, the only time you ever play for Inter Milan as the games begin. This could throw it into disrepute. Alternatively, all these boys are playing for a place in the final as uh, as Politano gets on it. Is he going to pull it back? He is. It's a referee. It's a penalty. It's a tight call, but it's a penalty. I mean, we say it's a penalty. It's really great time for my camera to fill up, isn't it? Oh, everyone needs to figure it out. Good. Well done, mate. Too late, really, isn't it? You've missed the start of the game. Just one moment, viewers, where I delete some old footage. Anything else want to go wrong in the next two minutes? Because just let me know so I can prepare for it mentally. Sorry about this, viewers. But this is the longest VAR check in history, by the way. All right, just got to put the camera card back in the camera. This is great. This is really fun, this is. Not only is my entire team out, I now have to go around this rigmarole. Hi, hi everyone. Are we, are we good? We're what? It's on the wonk. It's on the wonk. I can't fix it. I'm not... Play... Come on. 
Is it a penalty? It better be a penalty, by the way, after all of this. If it's now not a penalty, then I don't know what to do with myself. Referee's come back out. He's decided... It award, he awards the penalty. Who's taking it? Politano. Oh my god! I've not even I've not played him all season. I tried to sell him behind his back in the January transfer window, and he's missed. Oh God's sake! <laughs> viewers, viewers, viewers. I'm gonna have to go and join Handanovic here. This is terrible. Sensi ball in. Oh, we've missed the penalty. Who am I supposed to bring on? That's the situation. Sensi ball in, cleared away, and we, oh, we've missed the penalty. We do, have, we do have two away goals. I mean, it's not it's not over here. We need Danny Graham. That's that's the real situation. We need Danny Graham to pop up with a couple of goals to settle everybody down as oh, Sensi. At least our central midfield is okay. They're not fully fit to play this. As, oh, my goodness me. Alejandro Gomez racing forward. He plays inside Muriel. Oh, we can't be doing this with these, some of these players here. My right fullback doesn't even realise that we've got a first team. That's how far away from it he's been. They've got a corner. Oh, Deary me. Ball played in, cleared away just about, but it's not over yet. It's Handanovic. He's tipped it onto the post so spectacularly somehow. We're going to have to be more, we just have to be balanced. The set gets himself a book in. If he gets a second one of them, that'll be a problem. Alejandro Gomez again from distance, crosses it in. They're, they feel so much more threatening than we do for whatever reason. I feel like we're probably too defensive and relying on players that haven't played for a long time. This is why squad rotation is important and you shouldn't just bring Danny Graham on all the time. Um, oh, Alejandro Gomez. I feel so uncomfortable. Gomez, how has he missed? How has he missed? I don't know, it's the best, it's the best form of defence attack here. We look so nervous. I'm going to tell everyone to calm down. Some of them appreciated the feedback. The four that I, I was trying to give it to just ignores me. We're not listening. We're not listening. I realise me doing this as, as a thing doesn't work because of the headphones. As things stand, I mean, I'm, get, I'm being quite negative here, but as things stand, we are going through. So that's something that I'm going to encourage. Come on, just at the... Oh, frustrate. I've never, I'll never understand it. At half time, this is going to be the best, have to be the best team talk I've ever given. I'm going to be assertive with them. I've got to be strong. I'm far from pleased, gang. Come on. We've got to up the levels here. Here we... Come on now. Oh, my. What is happening? Do I play another defensive midfielder? Who's David Weisner? Oh, no. Move on. Who's, again, who schedules this? Who's in charge of this? Because if I'd have known this was going on, I don't know what I'd have done, but I wouldn't have allowed it. As if we weren't allowed to postpone it for a later date. Oh, good God. Politano's on a six because he got he missed his penalty. I mean, is there anyone to bring on for him at this point? He's not enjoying his life. Oh, uh, maybe you. Vagani, he's not bad. I mean, I'm learning about my squad here quite a lot. Cancelo... He's a bit young. I mean, the, th the problem is we've got so much quality. But fancy, oh, it's, a, it's just, just play on, boys. Come on, we're, we're, we're going through. At this point, viewers, we're in the final. We're in the final. Oh, God. They've scored one goal and we, uh, oh, we've got two away goals. So they've got to score two. And Danovic is, a, oh, he's massive. So even if they score one away goal here, it doesn't even matter. Oh. Graham shoved someone. It's a free kick. Gomez is going to step up to take it. He strikes it. Oh, my goodness. He scored, viewers. He scored. He scored. He scored. Can you go Italian against Italians? Gomez steps up. It's one hell of a freak. I mean, Handanovic there, question marks everywhere. I've gone defensive. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to get Politano. No, no, I'm not going to get Politano off. No. I'm going to play him in a position that he's actually comfortable with out there. Danny's going to play on his own up front. We're going to go to a five, I think. Oh, look at the state of me. Are you, are you on the bench? Are you any good? Oh, you're not bad. Right, you're coming on. Right, you're coming on for Simic. And you've seen me do it before, viewers. We're doing it again. Ball winning midfielder on a defensive duty. Defensive duty. Ball winning midfielder. Defensive And they're all ball winning midfielders, viewers. That's the, that's the idea here. Very defensive. Shut the door. Do not let them in. I don't, don't. If they knock on the door and go, we're Italian too. Do not listen to them. The time's ticking away, viewers. It's working again. It's the best tactic to shut games down you've ever seen. The game's going to end here. Two away goals for us. It's full time. And we're into the Italian Cup final. What a breeze. What an easy... What a breeze. With the camera not working, with my entire team being on international duty, what an achievement. Alejandro Gomez's free kick, it was good. But we're going to the final in our first season of the Italian Cup. It's on our list of trophies to win viewers, and we're going for it. Oh my God, it's the most scrappy way to get through. We will play Napoli in the final on the 13th of May. Hopefully nobody's on international duty viewers, because that will make it significantly easier. What, what is that? What is that scheduling? I'm so confused. Um, I should say as well, just notice it there, Jose Mourinho is now manager of Napoli. That should be fun. But there we are. That's going to conclude today's episode. It was far more stressful than it should have been. I cannot believe, for whatever reason, I don't know if you've heard, you've heard me say it, viewers, but having 12 to 13 people on international duty is an outrage. Um, it's these lot, basically. How many is this? It's 14. It's 14 players on international duty, some of which I don't even play and would have probably... Alex Sanchez, that was his big moment, and he's lost it because he's in Chile. If you enjoyed today's episode, viewers, please drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. 
Oh, dear, we didn't win, but I feel like a winner. We love with care. If we don't mention the next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Good heavens.